quite by accident, somebody heard a tape of something I had written, a children's show I had written, and sent me a letter saying that he wanted to option it for NBC. Now, it was never done, but it got me an agent. And this agent was in an agency with um, Mary Rogers and Stevens' agent. And apparently Mary read my lyrics and called me up out of the blue and said, um, this is Mary Rogers. And I said, who? Who's feeding the baby? And um, <laughs> she said, Mary Rogers, I'm a composer. And I said, wait a minute. Once upon a mattress, Mary Rogers? She said, yes. And she said, I've been asked to be part of a new musical for Broadway. And I read your lyrics. And I was just wondering. And I said, yes. She said, don't you want to know what it is? I said, no, it's OK. Um, and she told me about the show and gave me the book to read. I had not met Stephen. Um, and somehow or other, I don't know whether we actually auditioned for him or not, but in some way he approved and suddenly we were off and running. The number that has always killed me, that always moves me to tears, um, is if I could have been. Uh, and I think about my father and, uh, and men like him, so bright, um, so wonderfully, with so many possibilities at the beginning, who were caught at a time when they had humongous responsibilities and had to forego college, forego all kinds of opportunities that might have come their way, and just go to work and help to support their parents, in his case, his brothers. And so, so many of the characters I see in the show who could have led wonderful, interesting lives and didn't. And I do feel that we tend to look at, you know, a waitress comes over and serves us in a restaurant. Mm -hmm. And we never stop to think, what does she think about? What does she like? What does she read? What is her life like? And I find so often that in the most unlikely people, you find incredible depths. People who are interested in all sorts of wonderful, exciting things and lead very humdrum, very difficult lives. And that moves me in, see, I get choked up, but I won't now. <laughs> Everybody has to grow up and, and go to work. The really lucky ones work at something they, they love passionately. Most people go to work because they have to go to work to earn a living. And, um, and many people, most people, I think, are stuck in very difficult jobs. Um, and I think that this will probably be the case forever. What I do. Um, I don't have a hobby. This is my hobby. This is what I love more than anything in the world, except for my family. But I love it. I love it. And if I couldn't do it, I think I would die. <laughs>